Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, let's play of uh, Secret Government. Uh, this is a new game out in uh, early access right now um, and I have never played it, actually never really heard about it uh, before now, but I did see a map of Europe um, and uh, a map of Europe with some strategy in, that's pretty much me. So um, let's see if this is any fun. Uh, this will be as much of a tutorial or first time play for you as it is for me or opposite so um uh, i i will to be uh, learning how this game works um so as i said it, it is in early access right now um me meaning that um they will add a lot of stuff later on uh, that's also what what it says on their uh, steam page but let's uh, see here. So, new game mission list. Uh, the Glorious Revolution or Free Play. Uh, you can set any goals for the Brotherhood and direct the world in, in any direction you want. Or, in 1688, the Glorious Revolution in England culminated in profound reforms af after a series of crises. This revolution marked the beginning of the rapid rise of England and its transformation into a powerful world power. The political and economic power of the country was strengthened, laying a solid foundation for the future formal unity of Great Britain. Uh, at the same time, a new tradition was formed that, that the royal power was limited by the laws established by the Bill of Rights. The Brotherhood started action in 1685 by placing its stake on a loyal king to lead England to the prosperous future. So I think this is a kind of t tutorial uh, game, and it looks more... Um, sort of uh, on rails or like yeah friendly maybe so I think we'll start with that brothers all calculations and prophecies say the days will come that will determine the future of mankind England is a key point on the map of our time what will be embodied in it now over the years will sprout all over the world the feudal system has outlived its usefulness um, and many in England already see it. It is here and now that our large-scale reforms can be implemented. The new society can assert itself. Roll up your sleeves, brothers. The place is prepared. It's time to lay the foundation. So I think we're basically playing as like a secret order, which is why the game is called Secret Government. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Kind of sounds like a kind of strategic um, Assassin's Creed Templar type of story, I guess, like Illuminati stuff. Um, but, but we'll see how this goes. My dear uncle, I'm hurrying back to Europe, hoping to outrun the storm. I've spent many months interpreting the prophecies of Nostradamus. What I read left me shaken. According to scientific minds of our time, everything obeys the laws of nature. The planets move in their orbits, and an apple will always fall down. But the life of humanity is chaotic and uncertain. One need only look at the Europe of recent decades. A powerful English king was executed by his own subjects. The rivalry between Catholic monarchs of the Holy Roman Empire and France brings wars to Protestant countries. The Spanish Empire is growing weaker, while the wetlands of the Netherlands enjoy the bloom in culture and trade. The great Galileo renounced his books. This world is complete chaos for everyone, except us, those who control it. We are the Brotherhood, and we make history. We stand behind the high and mighty of this world, secretly guiding them. We are the global government, formed by the most worthy. We like to say that our work began when the builders of the Temple of Solomon gathered to create the greatest temple of all. This is just legend, but we are indeed builders. Brick by brick, we are building the structure of the future society. We always work in the shadows, and yet Nostradamus foresaw everything. Peering into the future, he described the storms of this and future centuries and the Brotherhood leading humanity forward. He left us clues to solve, and he says, beware. I'm coming back to take my place in the Brotherhood. I haven't forgotten what you taught me, and I will join you in the great world of ours. But I fear the storm has already come. 
Okay, that was a fairly cool intro. Kind of sounded like Microsoft Sam though, or like a Google Translate person speaking, but other than that, fairly cool. Um, I placed great hope in coming back to England. Alas, I was too late. I did it. I founded the first lodge of the Brotherhood in the New World. I was sailing across the ocean dreaming of how proud I would be to bring this good news to the Grand Master of the Brotherhood, my uncle and mentor. Nevertheless, I foresaw the trouble as I managed, managed to translate some of the previously obscure prophecies by Nostradamus. What waited for me in the port was not triumph, but two messengers of misfortune. One of them was a beardless young man with a fe feverish gleam in his eyes. The other was a poor-sighted old man. It was the first time I saw the young man, and as far as I recall, the elder had never left the master's residence before. They greeted me sorrowfully and led me through dark alleys to a boat that took us to safety. As the boat swayed on the, on the dark waves, I learned that the Brotherhood was destroyed overnight. The Grand Master and many of his closest associates were accused of religious conspiracy and executed. Only two loyal brothers made it out alive, and I'm still alive. I swear our enemies will regret the day they made this mistake. Why are you hiding your face, youth? Thought you would not leave the master's house until you died, old man. Hmm. I wanted to die there, but someone should take care of the manuscripts. I could even destroy them so as to not give them into the wrong hands. You give it up? Better give them to me than look for a safer place. Cheer up, our journey is just beginning. Wait to bury the brotherhood, old man. You still have to pass on your experience to the young. Um, yeah, maybe this one. You speak about the future of Brotherhood with such confidence, but there are only three of us. The Brotherhood's ties are broken, but there is still an undisclosed part of our network in England. We will still we will start by reviving it and restoring its influence. Or the Brotherhood is not about people, but a, a principle. I have spent years learning to find supporters. The new brothers will be as good as the old ones. Ah, uh, perhaps. We need a new Grand Master. If you are truly ready for this burden, it is in my power to perform the ritual and make you one. I am the oldest member of the Brotherhood. I was the archi archivist, archivist to the three masters. I know all the rules. Traditionally, I have to ask you a few questions. That is how we know where you will lead us. I am ready. Ask. Will you condemn the one who starts war? Or is ever loathsome? Oh, the value of pacifism is 10. He will he will do evil, but sometimes he can bring more than it takes away. The Brotherhood values remain unchanged. Conflict is a human nature, works wars exist, so let them serve us. Militarism is 10. Hmm. I think I'll do this one actually. Is it fair if some people throw away food while others are starving? Anyone who has earned bread with his sweat and mind can decide what to do with it. Economic freedom is 10. He might have given a little to his to his neighbor, so long as the latter did not beg while keeping most of it for himself. Animal justice tells us to tear each other's throats, and human justice tells us to share with our neighbors and help the weak. Economic equality, economic freedom. Hmm. Maybe economic equality. What do you say about a country that demands sacrifices from its children? The government is more than the individual. Every citizen of the country should contribute to the common cause. Authoritarianism is 10. Neither a man can be without his country, nor a country without a man, and you will have to find a compromise between your goals. The government is only a tool in the service of its citizens. If the individual feels only oppressed, then why does the government exist? Civil liberties, authoritarianism, unchanged. I'm kind of... It's kind of... Uh, not as fun I feel to have the values unchanged even though that in itself I guess is a value um, but it seems more fun to be either or um, so let's do uh, the government is only a tool in the service of its citizens I listened to your answers and, I, and now I know which society you are striving for property must be fairly d distributed among people the individual is above the government is this where you will take us when you call you when we call you master Sounds like a pretty good, uh, sounds like a pretty sweet deal, I, I gotta say. Um, you understand me correctly, I want to answer your questions differently. No, that's correct. You will become the Grand Master and revive the Brotherhood. We will help you to bring this world closer. So I say Brother Isaiah. 
I will forget my face, my name, and my past. Now the life of the Brotherhood is my life. The secrets of the Brotherhood are my secrets. The goals of the Brotherhood are my future. So, on my first night back in England, I accepted the position of Grand Master. The river and the piercing starlight have witnessed our ritual. Grand Master, take these nebulous prophecies of Nostradamus and the Brotherhood manuscripts. Your predecessors worked hard on them. They learned from predictions what moments in history will shape the destiny of the world. They describe the principles of the great works of ours. If you can use these principles at the moments foreseen by Nostradamus, you will become the demiurge of the world yet to come. I know that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also know what is told in the previously unencrypted predictions. The Brotherhood will, will die more than once. To die again, you need to be reborn. I believe that with your help, the Brotherhood will, will rise like a phoenix from the ashes. But I have to tell you something else. The former master had two hiding places. I never looked in into the second, but our enemies knew about it. When I hid, I saw them taking some papers away. There were markings of a rose and a cross on them, and above there was a name. Rosen Cruz. I saw the same mark on the collapse of a rank of, of one of the thieves. Uh, I guess this would mean something like Rose, Rose cro Cross, Rosen Cross. Uh, where do we start, Master? We will start with England. According to the prediction of the Great Nostradamus, we are close to the time when events that determine the course of history will take place. But first, we will restore broken ties, recruit new supporters, and do everything possible to find and punish those who condemn our brother to death. Will you put me on the detail, brothers? I am. I know where to. Why is this locked? I know where to. Okay. Thank you for your trust, Grandmaster. Since you left for the New World, the situation in old Europe has changed. There were times when the influence of our Brotherhood spanned across the continent. You are on a global map. It shows what it what is going on in the world as well as a result of your actions. The map is now in shadow mode. In this mode, is it is easier to track the influence of the Brotherhood and its enemies. Here you can see everything that is hidden from the eyes of the uninitiated. You can navigate through the map using wireless keys. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it's kind of cut off there, but yeah. I'm afraid I'm too old for having more than a few wise words of advice, so I will have to rely on Brother Walter to revive the Brotherhood. Hey, that sounds like ageism. But okay, he, he is young, but I sense potential in him worthy of a worshipful master. He will make a trusted aid. When you zoom in enough, at a certain point the map switches to world mode. It is designed to track the situation in the world and shows what is known to a more or less educated resident of a civilized country. Find Brother Walter on the map, zoom in on him to maximize, and move the move cursor over his figure. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. So the more you zoom in, in and out, it actually changes like this. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. How big is this map? Okay, so it kind of ends here. And ends here. Cool. Let's see here. Okay. Is this his brother Walter? Grandmaster, I appeal to you. I'm ready to serve the cause of the Brotherhood. This is the Brother Selector. It shows the current status of your direct subordinates. Only Brother Walter is currently under your command. Clicking left mouse button on the portrait on automatically focuses the camera on this on the specified brother. I have someone in mind who could be very useful to the Brotherhood. He can provide us with a safe place to hide. May I meet him and ask to join us? Click left button on Brother Walter. Select the Aaron type that contains errands related to the development of the Brotherhood. Brotherhood, I guess this is what? Recruit a neophyte. Send Brother Walter to run your errand. Okay. I think it's going to take him a few days to run your errand. It is dangerous for us to act too openly now. When the Alt key is pressed, the screen displays detailed information about the brothers and their errands. Clicking right mouse button on the figure of the brother will display information about him and the last errands run by him. So let's see. Through a neophyte. Um, clicking right button on the figure of the brother. Is this the... Yeah, okay. 
Worshipful Master level 2, le blah, level 2. Current level of agents, life experience and qualifications. Citizenship, England. Current errand, recruit new fight. Place until the errand is complete. 3, okay. 23 years. Bring 0.2 wealth to the Brotherhood's treasury every day. In countries that have concluded a trade agreement with his home country, a trader runs errands with a lower penalty of citizenship. Okay, but okay. sounds like a pretty decent uh, person. I know where we can wait for his return. Not the most secure place, but it will do for a while. This is the Cryptex. With with it, you can control the time in the game. Okay, yeah, sounds pretty much um, like a certain game. I know. Come, Grandmaster. My friend has found us a safe place to hide. Appointment of brothers. Development and reassignment of brothers. It's here. It's the brotherhood management window. <laughs> With it, you will be able to change the current membership of the brotherhood and the roles performed by the brothers. Let's start a traditional meeting of the brotherhood members, albeit in, in a very modest number. According to the Brotherhood Manuscripts, all candidates for the Rite of Passage are called Neophytes and are not let inside the circle of initiates during the meeting. They know what the goals and ideas of the Brotherhood are, that is what led them to us. However, they have not yet, yet been initiated and they are not aware of the specific plans and future steps of the Brotherhood. I used to be a Neophyte myself, Grandmaster. On the one hand, knowing of the Brotherhood and almost being a part of it is exhilarating. But on the other, uninitiated and uninvolved, you are haunted by the thought that you are still not worthy of their trust. Not everyone could take it. Some lost faith in themselves or in the Brotherhood and left for good. I implore you, Grandmaster, do not hesitate in initiating neophytes. If you like a candidate, perform the rite of passage. Let him at least become an acolyte, so that he can stand near the circle of initiates and participate in the life of the Brotherhood to the best of his abilities. I urge you not to rush into decisions. Remember that no more than six brothers may be held, may be in the circle of initiates other than the master. Each of them receives a title, associated duties, and his area of the responsibility. It is the titled brothers who can be sent on errands by the Grand Master. Those who are unworthy of the Brotherhood or who can no longer serve its purposes, we can always let go in peace. Having bound them by the vow of silence, of course. It is time to meet our new brother and find out if he is worthy of the title of one of the initiatives. Select Neophyte with the left mouse button. This is the guy. This area displays all information about the selected brother. Yes. Allow me, Grandmaster, to share with you the wisdom of choosing worthy companions. The first thing you should note is the age of the brother. Young people are receptive to new things and learn fast, but they lack the experience and worldly wisdom. Many years of life bring many valuable qualities, but they are unfollowed. But they are unfollowed weakness and disease. Okay. So older people are more likely to get diseases. In the world, each brother has a certain social status and profession, as well as a set of special traits and personal qualities. All of this may either benefit the brotherhood or lead to interaction difficulties. Yes. Having gained enough experience, each of us changes and moves to a new stage of life. With each such transition, new qualities are acquired, the profession or social status changes. As you have already noticed, Grandmaster, the citizenship of the brother is crucial. Perhaps in the distant future, the Brotherhood will erase these fictional borders between countries. But I fear I will not live to see these glorious times. Okay, hint, hint. Each brother has a personal opinion on the ideas and objectives of the Brotherhood. Some will carry out the Grandmaster's errands faithfully and some will question every word. Beware of people with low, lo with low loyalty because they can betray you at the most unexpected moment. And remember that loyalty is hard to earn, but easy to lose. We are mere mortals imprisoned in fragile bodies, suffering from diseases and wounds. Death can take away your most loyal and experienced brother. 
And most importantly, every brother must bear the burden of secrecy. People around them may see him as an ordinary merchant, soldier, or craftsman. When exposed, the brother endangers not only himself, but the brotherhood as a whole. Alas, you have already witnessed the sad consequences of neglecting secrecy. From time to time, you should give the brothers a chance to rest, cover their tracks, deflect suspicion from themselves, and restore their secrecy. Okay. It is time to make a wise decision on what to do with the neophyte. Should you want my opinion, Grandmaster, we are not in a position to refuse. We need all the help we can get right now. Uh, okay, so we can just move him like that. Yeah, I guess that's what we do. Uh, you can move over the title slot to find what perks it will give to the brother appointed to this title. Okay. So there's the orator, secretary, treasurer, chaplain, and tiler. I guess this guy's also, I guess this is us. Or, I don't know. Let's see here. Perks of the title depend on, on the level of the brotherhood appointed to it. Increase in revenues with each level, cost of resources. Um, the cost of resources and secret secrecy for an area and hide sites activity. Okay, let's do let's do the treasurer. Time will tell if you made the right call. Close the window to return to the main screen. Yes. Thank you for your trust, Grandmaster. I share the ideas and goals of the Brotherhood, and I'm ready to serve your our ideals faithfully. As proof of my words, I entrust the Brotherhood with the connections and resources available to me. Okay, so we got 200 influence, wealth, and power. I guess they're up here. Your help is very timely, my new friend, but I fear it is not enough and the problem of lack of resources still needs to be addressed. This area displays the resources available to the Brotherhood. Yes. Let's see what we can achieve in this country. Select England on the map by moving the cursor over and clicking left mouse button. Each country has its own development level of state institutions, such as government, economic, and military institutions. The development level depends on many internal parameters. For us, it is important because the higher its value, the more resources we can gain for the Brotherhood by infiltrating this institution. We are lucky that England is currently the world leader in many areas. For the time being, Grandmaster, I happen to know a beautiful young lady whose father is a powerful man in the treasury. I am sure we can arrange a rendezvous with him. Good idea, Brother Walter. Your talents please the old man. Let's take advantage of this opportunity. Well, there's a lot of uh, a lot of talking here. Select any brother by left-clicking on the errands menu. This was the errands menu, right? Worship the master. Treasurer. Select country institutions. Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> uh, this was how we did that. Um, country institutions and the economic infiltrate economic institution. This is the errands window. Here you can learn the details of the errand you are going to have your brother do. To complete the errand, the brothers will need to arrange meetings with the right people, use some connections, spend a lot of money, or even resort to the services of very dark individuals. All these expenses can be represented as cost of the errand in resources of influence, wealth, and power. Any activity somehow attracts attention both to the individual brother and to the brotherhood as a whole. Do not forget that it takes some time to complete a worthwhile task. Everything com comes to the one who knows how to wait. Additional resources are required to complete the errand. At the bottom of each resource, its costs are displayed. Uh, yes, sure. Here, I guess. Uh, at the top, the uh, the amount that will be obtained after the errand is done. Uh, running an errand consumes assist, consumes the secrecy of the Brotherhood assigned to it. Exhausting the secrecy will, will result in the Brother's exposure, and thereby he will have to abort the errand. The resources spent on the errand will not be returned in that case. Moreover, the Brother will become an easy target for the detractors until he covers his tracks and restores his secrecy. If the Brotherhood operates on the territory of a certain country, it attracts attention from its rulers. Such attention is represented as awareness. Rulers don't like it when someone tries to run their state without their knowledge. Yeah. Moreover, any country can easily destroy the Brotherhood in direct confrontation. 
And of course, running an errand takes time. It's measured in days. All these days, the brotherhood, the brother will be busy with the errand. You may also want to pay attention to the forecast of consequences and possible factors that make it difficult to complete the errand or even impossible to complete it at all. The level of vigilance will increase to one. Variance increase by seven. If there are several several brothers in the same country who can take on an errand, you can change the executing agent for this errand using the browser selection. Brother selection selector. Please note that when ex when the executing agent changes, the cost of the errand also changes. Being a worship worshipful master, Brother Walter can infiltrate institutions at a lower cost of resources thanks to the perks of his title. We could send Brother Walter or our new friend on this errand. Choice is yours, Grandmaster. Send me, Grandmaster, please. <laughs> I will not let you down. Eager guy. Need I say more? Okay. Seems like a cozy secret order. Um, so clicking on them changes things. Yes. Really. A winning scores by six. A winning by seven. So yeah, Walter. Walter Wilson is better than Robert Nash in this case. Um, I wonder. So so basically. He has a higher secrecy, but he'll also lose more. Let's see. One for mismatching citizenship. One for the current level of public order. Zero. One from the help of our large. One from interference. Don't we have English citizenship though? But maybe the base is one or something? Base action cost. Just awareness. Okay. Either way, let's do Walter since uh, it costs less to uh, use him. Sign. We're not. We're not. We're not in a position to let our brothers sit around doing nothing. I suggest keeping them both occupied. Or open the errands menu of the idle brother. Um. So the errands menu. So this guy is now uh, doing the the first thing we asked for. This this is the second one. There is no point in sending two brothers in the same errand. Due to, due to secrecy, they are likely to hinder each other. I think that trying to find loopholes in the government institutions will be quite useful. The significance of the influence resource cannot be overestimated. So this is influence. It doesn't say what it does at this moment. Maybe we've gone over it. Uh, but let's do that. Infiltrate government institution. Um, send a free brother on an errand to infiltrate the government institution. By right-clicking on the errand icon, you automatically confirm it by, by bypassing the window with information about the errands and its cost. Okay. But I thought he said we didn't want to do this in England. Okay. Now that both our brothers are running errands, all we can do is wait for the return and monitor their progress. By the way, I found a good stock of excellent whiskey in the cellars of the shelter that our new friend granted us. Would you like some? Wait for the completion of errands. Resume time on Cryptex. Be careful with Brother Isaiah's provocations. Brother Isaiah's provocations? This is... Robert Nash, Walter Wilson, I guess Isaiah is the, like the narrator? Why do you have to be careful? Okay, let's play. Hmm. What are these? We did it, Grandmaster. We now have valuable connections and acquaintances in two of the three main institutions in England. I suggest we don't rest on our laurel and make our way to the remaining institution. I just happened to meet the niece of a distinguished general. By the way, do you know where Brother Isaiah is? I haven't seen him today. Send one of the brothers to infiltrate the military institution in England. Let's try and try to do it without our hints. Okay. Institutions, infiltrate military institution. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to deal with the cause or let's see her. 16, yeah, this is the Worshipful Master guy seems to still be better. 
taking me longer and longer to get there. Age, you see. What did I miss? I think it's time to make use of the fruits of our labors and get some resources for the Brotherhood's treasury. We have a few connections in the English Economic Institution. Let us turn to them and increase our wealth. Like the errand, the economic, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Economic Institution. Unlike before, here we can tell the brother how much time he can allocate for this errand. The more time he spends on it, the more resources he can bring to the brother's Brotherhood's treasury. But he will lose secrecy and attract attention from the local authorities, increasing awareness. Our experience will allow us to predict how many resources we will get based on the level of the country's institution, our current level of, of infiltration in it, and time spent by the brother on the errand. In the current situation, I would have a brother exploit the institution for seven days. So we'll move this. Okay, so we'll get 122, we'll lose 21 secrecy. Why? It's a bit um, confusing that the secrecy loss says minus 21 when it only gives us four of the numbers. Base cost minus 70. Base cost minus 70. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Our brothers are off to a good are off to good to, blah, 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 blah. our brothers are off to do good deeds again ah oh, so we can afford getting a good night's sl sleep and gain strength he's he's that sleepy uh, I'm with this eye I, I get sleepy too old guys wait until the errand is done resume on the crypt crypt text to do this instead of many days a brother will be explaining okay Grandmaster, I have disturbing thoughts. Let's take a closer look at the situation in England. Select England. That's what I thought. Just look at the situation with awareness and public order. Public order reflects the overall level of government control over the, ins over the situation in the country. The lower it is, the worse for the country. But the easier it is for our brothers to get to act unnoticed. Now order in England is quite high. Social entropy. Awareness shows how much attention from local authorities we have drawn by our actions. If there is too much of it, the recent unfortunate events may be repeated. The recent unfortunate events. Okay, I guess before the game when the Brotherhood was like messed up. And we have already attracted too much attention. Our supporters in the country's institutions are not enough to cover us yet. If we don't do something now, this could all end badly. It is not... It, <clears throat> it is not profitable to stop infiltrating the military institutions now and all allocated resources will would be lost in vain while the exploitation of the economic inst institution can be interrupted without much loss hurry grandmaster call your brother off this errand cancel the errand exploit economic institution to do this go to the brother selector and click left mouth bus blah, blah, blah. okay you see who's running the errand you're looking for press alt Okay, so I guess uh, we, we're going to um, cancel, exploit the economic institution. Cancel errand. I hope we've been spared trouble. Forgive me, Grandmaster, I was careless. Wait until the errand is done. But he's losing uh, the uh, secrecy, I guess, every day. It was a success, Grandmaster. We now have access to all three institutions in England, which means we can get all the necessary resources for the Brotherhood when we need them. But don't overdo it and watch the level of awareness. I took the liberty of sketching out a plan for an early revival of the Brotherhood. Take a look at it, will you? Okay, other objectives. This is... So I guess this, this is like the missions, yeah, missions kind of place. This is the objectives window. It contains information about all the major and minor objectives of the Brotherhood. For your convenience, objectives are grouped by type. You can select the objectives from, of interest from this menu. Here you can see the context of the objective. These, this area dis displays the steps that are required to fulfill the objective. There's also an award that the Brotherhood will earn if the objective is reached. Note that the first step of the current objective is already marked as completed. Yes. 
We have achieved a lot, but we are still few and we do not have our own lodge. We have infiltrated English institutions deeply enough to set up a lodge there, but doing so now is too risky. We need time to do our job and clear out people's short memories of us. Let their minds be filled with new everyday problems. Can I go to France? Can I go to France? I, I asked myself that question. Uh, I know French and I've always wanted to go there. Do you know French? But you never gone there? Okay. Yes, it might be time to look for allies there or in any other country. It's, it's up to the Grand Master to decide. Close the objectives window. You can also do this by pressing the escape key. Please, Grandmaster, send me to France. Oh, send me to France. They say it's a country of wonderful girl opportunities. You know what? This is a... This order is kind of, like, sketchy. Like, old guys with, like, diseases and whiskey and younger guys with, um... Certain inclinations. Send Brother Walter on the errand. Move to France. This is Walter. I feel like, okay, um, I feel like it should say, um, when I simply just click on him, that it should say Walter, that, that I've clicked on Walter, because uh, kind of going back here, or right clicking here is kind of annoying, what's his name, okay, so that's Walter actually, um, send brother on the air and move to France. You can do this by selecting this errand in the Brotherhood section, or si simply drag the brother's figure from England to France. In the second case, the errand will be confirmed automatically. So I guess dragging over here. Thank you, Grandmaster. I'll send you word as soon as I get to Paris. Well, I wouldn't mind a trip either. Denmark, perhaps? Or the Netherlands? Anyway, I'm ready for any task. <laughs> yes, me too. Wait until brothers both brothers finished their journey okay so we can send him anywhere i guess Oof, this is a pretty cool map actually uh but that's just me i love maps or maybe it's you too i hope so let's see here we can send him anywhere let's send him to the, Nether the netherlands so they're fairly close yes let's do that what is this Looks like some kind of revolt or something. Um, but it's not giving me the tool tips yet. Probably later. Uh, to move a brother, select a brother. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll uh, do this right now. We'll play. And they'll just teleport. Okay, so here's like a message uh, stuff let's see the move the brother errand is done assign walter brother to infiltrate any of the country's institutions again walter which one was walter you're walter yeah you're walter um okay country institutions government economic military government institution exploitation okay so this is like exploitation and this is just um, infiltration. I guess this, this is kind of what, what could be like done over time. Let's uh, do uh, government institution. Grandmaster, there have been some complications. My command of the language is not good enough. The French are Catholics and see me as an outsider from a Protestant country. It is difficult for me to gain their trust. It will require too much effort and resources. Yeah, so, so since we're in 1685... We're about 40 years, um, we're a few decades after the Peace of Westphalia, which basically um, divided Europe into Protestant and Catholic nations. Um, it would be wise to find associates in this country and have them run the errands instead. Close the errand window by rejecting it. Note that you can also do this by using the escape key. Yeah, sure. Send brother, brother Walter to recruit a neophyte in France. Uh, I, I guess this would be here. Yeah, recruit a neophyte. So, it looks like there's a lot of actions, actually. Um, we can obviously only do two right now, but uh, this seems interesting. We'll see, recruit a neophyte. 
There are very, very talented people in the world eager to find the meaning of their existence, to serve a greater goal, to feel that they are part of something big and truly important. You can find those people, share new ideas with them, tell them tell them about the world and how it, and how it can change thanks to these uh, ideas. And then their hearts will be open to the brotherhood. <laughs> um, yes, so we have 38, but this will do minus 36. I don't really get this yet. Uh, this will cost us a lot, it seems. But yeah, let's do this. Assign. Great, Master. I think you and Walter have learned the ropes, and now you can handle this without me grumbling over your ear. Find us two more suitable brothers while I let my old bones rest. Okay. Non-English citizenship. Careful, Carefully monitor resources. Infiltrate the institutions of the countries and exploit them. At this stage, your most important resources will be wealth and influence. Okay. So I think we'll find a neophyte here too. In the Netherlands, that costs a lot. Um, okay, let's just assign. And I guess... Uh, oh, that's that's a sad, uh, that's a sad uh, fate. Um, uh, let's see here. A lot of cool countries. I don't believe Russia had that flag yet. But okay. Sweden and... Yeah. Austria. I'm just, I just like looking at the different countries here. Oh, more rebels or whatever that is. Okay, but let's uh, let's uh, play play the time. Okay, so the errand is done. Let's pause. Um. Great, so they have very low infiltration stuff now. Uh, let's see this. There's some mes messages here. Recruit two neophytes and grant them titles. Okay. Uh, and we'll go back to, um, I guess it was appointment of brothers. So they're very loyal. That's good. Uh, and they're Dutch and French. Let's give the French one the chaplain. Which will make him good at something. Why did the tooltip go away? It's a bit annoying. Um, let's see here. Awareness changes in all countries, minus one every month with each level of sec sec secretary. Oh, okay, okay, secretary. <laughs> I think that's actually pretty good. So let's make him secretary. Um, yes. Send the brotherhood to rest. Mm. So I did do that, didn't I? Yeah. Very well, Grandmaster. The Brotherhood is expanding and it is time for us to leave our dilapidated shelter and establish a more dignified home for ourselves. Move Brother Walter back to England to send him on this errand. Yeah. Walter. Again, they really just should have names. Unless I'm missing it somewhere. Because when he says Brother Walter, there's... Unless clicking on him here, like, I can't drag him. Okay. <laughs> I can't drag him there. Okay, but that's, uh, that's, that's at least good. I wonder if, um, so this, okay, yeah, like, they, they gain their, um, secrecy back. He loses secrecy for traveling. Every day. Let's pause this. France and Portugal entered into a trade agreement. Netherlands is concerned by the Brotherhood's activity and is preparing to take action. Okay. Robert Nash, so he has pretty low um, uh, secrecy right now. Awareness in the, in, in the Netherlands has reached level 20. At the current levels of implementation and public order in the country, the probability that the Brotherhood will attract attention was 7. And it did. We expect that between these states, the government will attempt to weaken the Brotherhood. Okay, that kind of sucks. England and Bremen trade agreement on the stage of the pre Great. And uh, England and Savoy trade agreement. So we now have two guys here. Maybe that's bad since they found us. Okay. Well, there's a small ship. That's cute. 
Okay, so choosing him, we can now do some Brotherhood stuff. Yeah, establish a lodge. Okay, interesting. Forgive me my senile memory, Grandmaster. I have forgotten that the foundation of the lodge is a very expensive undertaking, even though it pays off many times over. However, the higher our level of infiltration in the country's institutions, the easier and cheaper it will be for us to do this. Right now, we don't have enough resources to establish a lodge. Yeah, it costs a lot of money. And all, all of the other stuff. Not a problem, we can exploit the institutions of this country as well as infiltrate the institutions of other countries to collect enough resources. Collect enough resources to establish a lodge in England. Okay, so I think we'll... Um, country institutions, ex exploit. Let's exploit it for profit. Still a bit unsure what these values are, sort of what they do every time. Well, let's keep it in the green, I guess. Let's do it for like 105. Or he's low though. I don't know, maybe I should let him rest? But this guy is 100. We, we can exploit some stuff here. Exploit economic institution. for it gains zero resource of wealth okay i think that's because we have to infiltrate uh, the economic institution first ah but we don't have resources for that let's see can i exploit here no so i guess we have to do it in england okay so for seven six turns then um, and, uh, yeah, let's play. Grandmaster, in France I met a mature and wealthy lady, and, uh, I think you might help us with the lodge. Oh yes, that's nice of the mature and healthy, like, oh, sorry, wealthy lady. We don't have enough money yet, though. Cost like 300 something. Okay, danger passed in the Netherlands, that's good. Economic mission is done, so let's see. We can not yet do this, we need some more influence. Uh, let's see, uh, exploit influence. I guess we don't have to do it for that long, maybe only f two days. So let's check this out now. Ah, oh, one more day, okay. Yes, one more day. Good. Let's see. There we go. Yes. So let's see. The large will generate resources to the Brotherhood's treasury without raising awareness. The number of resources depends on the level of infiltration and the level of development of the country's institutions. Okay. Uh, it will help uh, brothers with a different citizenship to perform tasks faster and cheaper. In addition, the lodge will detect opponent agents and increase costs of their errands. The more larges the brotherhood has, the higher the daily maintenance costs are. Okay. Uh, so all of this says, oh, says right here. <laughs> okay, cool. Do we see our level of, of inf infiltration here though, anywhere? Like, uh, at, a, at a glance. Hmm, I don't know. But I guess our level would be three since we... Since we, um, infiltrated three institutions or something. But okay. Um, let's take time. What happens? I guess I'll pause it again or uh, check the objectives establish a lodge we haven't done that yet where does it say where does it say establish a lodge okay i didn't click assign <laughs> awesome so it takes 18 days and this guy is standing in the water game is kind of laggy at the moment 
I guess each day makes it uh, kind of lag quite a lot or just like kind of stop. Uh, okay, so we've been exposed. I stopped running the establish a lodge errand. So he was exposed. I guess he should uh, hide his signs of activity or hide from the world. Is there like a tooltip for that? Cancel errand. Yes. Um, let's see. What should, what should you do? Do we then just have to wait, maybe? Hide from the world. Hide signs of activity. Hide from the world. Inactivity does not mean weakness. Why waste energy to put yourself at risk? Uh, secrecy recovery is 5% per day. The specified area will call will be spent every day. So I guess... Um, Okay, so maybe doing this will make him gain his secrecy back faster. Yeah, okay, that's... I hope so. But it also costs us resources. Or not enough to uh, bankrupt us, I guess. That's good. We can't be... Um can't be discovered I guess I should be doing things with these other guys as well maybe exploit some stuff let's see oh we don't have the resources of course okay so you did what you a trade agreement let's see if we can establish a large and then um what What happened? Having a lodge makes it easier to run errands in your country. The lodge can track the activity of other brotherhood. Okay, didn't I tell you to start the lodge? And... Uh, okay... But I told you to start the lodge. But you were captured, so does that mean that we lost everything? So let's infiltrate. We gain zero resources. Why? Economy one now zero. Pressure institutions. Exploit economics. No. Exploit economics. No. Exploit something else. No. Let's see here. Okay, why is this not possible? See, let's try to infiltrate the economic. No, we can't do that either because we don't have the funds. Uh, okay, I'll just we'll, we'll just wait and get some secrecy back, and I guess get some funds back. Happens very slowly because uh, we don't have the lodge. Another awareness is very low, zero, which is good. What's this blue thing? Okay, yeah, his, they're like XP. Like experience. Okay, let's see here. What can you do? You can't even infiltrate to make money because we don't have enough money to do that. Sounds a bit weird. Especially now that we have no resources, so it kind of feels like I've screwed myself. Okay, we can, we're able to gain influence. That costs zero. Why does it cost? Okay, cost, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> there we go then. Uh, I guess uh, we'll have to get some stuff. Let's see. And you guys, are you able to infiltrate now? Yeah, but why does this not give us any money? I guess we'll have to first infiltrate this, and for that we need other funds. Maybe we can move 
some guy back to England, even though that will raise the awareness. Wait, which guy has it has the thing that it lowers the awareness? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Anyway, let's move this guy back, even though it costs us some money. France, they spread compromising rumors about the leader of the country. Okay, so you will now infiltrate uh, or exploit some stuff here. Maybe you're bad at it, I don't know. Okay, so you finished exploiting the economic situation. Now we're gonna exploit some more. Yes, this will be bad for everything, but we'll deal with that once it happens. Okay, so our awareness is very high, I think. It goes down one a day. And we've exploited some money. I think we have a good amount of money now. We'll just have to wait with this and get our secrecy back up. Because I feel like we can't afford to, like, lose that stuff again. I guess the most, the only thing you can click is like Europe here and not the Balkans or anything south of, uh, or east of Austria. Same for here. Okay, so I think we're good now. Let's try again. Let's get some influence. For you, let's get some, uh, Military stuff. Does he not get that much? Or is it just like a different... A bit different. Get some money. England again has zero, but... But a lot right now. What was this? Hmm. Okay, good. He infiltrated. That's done. Create some of this now. Again, we should wait a few days for the awareness to lower itself. We need a lot more military power, I think, because if we go back and check, we need 375. We only have the right amount of gold. We will have influence soon, though. But now it's up to the military stuff. Let's try. Okay need one more of those uh, influence things. I don't know, maybe, maybe we can use this guy for that, because I don't want uh, the other one to be uh, seen, to be found. Okay, nice. So, I'll do, we'll just wait, because I don't want it to be discovered again. That was kind of dumb. Set us back quite a, quite a while. I guess he was at like 20 or something. Or was it zero, actually? Okay, let's see here. Brotherhood, establish a lodge. Can you just play? Okay, so let's... Um, it takes a while to bring back up. Let's try to establish a lodge now. It doesn't really say, to my knowledge, how much he needs uh in terms of secrecy to do this and i find i find these numbers kind of confusing because 52 what what does it cost 52 or does it cost 29 and there's a total cost is 29 so will he lose 29 okay so let's look at that i guess it creates 34 awareness as well 
and it takes 18 turns. But why does it say 313 up in the corner? Why? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. Um, okay, let's say he's 82. It says it's going to cost 29. So let's try that. We lost all of our resources right away. That's fine. Um... Okay, so it seems like it worked. Uh, you have established a lodge of the Brotherhood in England. Lodge is an important and valuable strategic asset. The level of the lodge is made up of the total level of the infiltration in the institutions of the country in which it is established. You can have several lodges, but no more than one per country. Okay, and we get a little nice building courthouse there. Having a lodge in the country gives you a number of advantages. The lodge daily brings resources to the brother's treasury without raising awareness. The presence of a lodge makes errands easier to run on the territory of the country, especially for citizens of other countries. The lodge automatically tracks the activity of a potential enemy within the country and it creates interference for them. And all these effects become only stronger with the growth of lodge level. We have been quite active in recent days. Maybe we should cover up our, uh, the tracks. I, I still don't feel safe after what happened. Yeah, we should have done that before, Walter. Send Brother Walter to hide signs of activity from the Brotherhood Aaron type. Okay, so that's... Uh, last time I did hide from the world, but let, let's now hide signs of activity. This cost stuff... Okay, so this quickly... I wish I could uh, move these windows. So this removes 15 awareness. Right now, there's 32. Um, so that, th that means that we can quickly remove awareness for the cost of some resources. Not that much, I guess, even though the military seems like quite a, quite a bit. This is still cost stuff? Yeah, so he's using secrecy while covering up the signs. Okay. Um, so that was completed. Sarah Brother Walter on the hide from the world, Aaron. Okay, so now we have to hide from the world. That's what that's what we, what we did earlier too. Um, and I and I guess we did did right in doing that then, because that, yeah. But it also costs uh, actions though. Okay, so it says thirty six. We have thirty six loss of zero. That's yeah, good, because he's going to not lose anything. Um, and uh, yeah, okay. Wait until secrecy of Brother Walter is restored. So we'll just fast mode it. So now we're gaining a lot of resources. The Brotherhood has found a new home and new supporters. We may even be able to stand up for ourselves now. Errands from the section's counteraction, captives and reconnaissance become uh, became available to the brothers. Using these instructions, you can resist enemy agents if they dare to venture into the territory of the Brotherhood. It is time to return to our primary task of guiding the world towards progress. One of the main problems of modern society is religious fragmentation. The confrontations between Catholics and Protestants will once again cause unrest and bloodshed. I believe trying to solve this problem was the reason why your uncle was killed. I suspect that someone has been leading the world to religious fragmentation for a long time, and they did not like that our brothers were trying to unite people. Good guys, we are. We can honor your uncle's memory by making life a little more difficult for enemies that are yet unknown. Great master, my brothers and I have been able to gather a lot of information about the current situation in the world. <laughs> have a look, will you? Look at what we know about religious preferences in different countries. Oh nice, map modes! We love map modes! And that's not even a joke. This is, is the filters menu. You can use it to switch the type of information that will be... <laughs> you can use it to switch the type of information that will be displayed on the map. Most filters have additional settings and modes that you can adjust. Select religion filter on the map. As you can see, the bulk 
of the Protestants is concentrated in the north and is separated from the Catholic south by the seas. Yes, we can see that. So Protestant in blue and Catholic uh, in yellow. Yellow, greenish. Um, yes. It sounds, young man, as if you are riding off the Netherlands, Saxony and Brandenburg. I wouldn't do that if I were you. In fact, that's where I'd be looking. Why are... Why is the Netherlands in a weird country? Weird, uh... Okay, no. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. The Germanic peoples are split over the issue of faith, which is especially acute on Saxony and Brandenburg's border with Austria. The Austrian army is strong if it can subdue Brandenburg. It will leave Saxony without core religionist neighbors and open the way for Catholicism in Scandinavia or even in England. Is there anything we can do to change that? Yes, I have a few ideas. But it is not only the fate of those of, of these countries, but also that of our brotherhood that depends on the choice we make. Let me be a little more specific. This is the Brotherhood Management window. Here you can monitor the, develop the development of the Brotherhood. You see its capabilities and values. The window has several tabs. Right now we are interested in Brotherhood Pathways tab. Open it. Yes. I took the liberty of reconstructing the file of ideas and proposals that we had before. I hope that the good tradition of considering proposals from all members of the Brotherhood will live beyond my death. This is the Development Pathways window. Here you can take on various objectives proposed by the Brothers. Fulfilling these objectives will change the Brotherhood and give it new perks. I put my ideas on paper. I categorize my proposal and put it on the appropriate shelf as an ar archivist should. The Brotherhood has five independent development pathways. Each path contains objectives with a common focus and allows you to strengthen the Brotherhood in its aspects. This doesn't quite look like paper, my friend, but it looks good. That's, that, that's for sure. Uh, when considering and accepting the brothers' proposals, remember that this greatly affects the general mood of our supporters and the ideas that we share. Okay. By fulfilling the objectives from the development pathways, you will change the current values of the Brotherhood. On this compass, you can see what views the Brotherhood upholds now. Well, I can't, but okay. So we are interested in the Unity branch. As you can see, it is still empty, but I hope that that will change over time. Each path has several nodes. This is the division of the objectives by the level of difficulty. To open the next node, you need to accomplish at least three objectives from the previous one. The first node on the path of unity is now available to you. Take a look at it. Let's do that. This is the list of av available objectives within this node. Now there's only one objective here. We have two options for intervention. We can either help Brandenburg prepare for confrontation and protect the Protestant world, or we can push Austria to, to a conquest campaign and take the first steps towards uniting Europe under the hand of the Catholic Church. Hmm. Interesting. Please note that there are different ways to fulfill this objective. Use this switch to, re to review the available options. I can't though. But okay. By clicking here, you can accept or reject the objective. Note that either action will cost the Brotherhood a certain amount of resources. The rejected objectives will be replaced by the new ones. There is no need to choose an intervention option right now, Grandmaster. You can accept my modest offer and decide what to do with it based on the situation. It is not right to offend the old man, so let us accept this offer. Again, thank you for your trust, Grandmaster. I had no choice. Uh, get to work, brothers. We have a new objective to fulfill. Okay, so now we can establish a lodge in Brandenburg, infiltrate the army institution in Brandenburg for at least three levels, develop a defense plan for Brandenburg. All Brotherhood errors in Brandenburg are done one day faster within 50 days. Yeah, that's, that's a result of them. Okay, let's see. Is this... Okay, so we can choose, this is how we choose the objective stuff. So, choosing Brandenburg, I guess, puts us in the authoritarian path. What's this? Why can I click this? <laughs> uh, okay. And choosing Austria will give us authoritarianism as well. 
Then what's the point? What is this? Tell me, game. One faith or diversity protection? You know what? I think I'll go with diversity protection. But I don't know what this means, so. Um, okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. Let's see. Political map. Political map. I, I, I love my pop my political map. I'm just wondering why some countries are not colored while well, others are. It doesn't really doesn't really have a set mode either because some col some country are, countries are clearly colored while others are simply green, green like. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's see what, what modes we have. We have the normal map, political map, let's see, they're undone when gone up here, which is a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, the relations map, so the country, so this is that country's relations to every other country. Uh, I guess, so France, for example, if I click France. Um, I guess this, this would mean the Netherlands' opinion of France is 23, while France's opinion of the Netherlands is 35, or something. Okay. Religion again. Uh, France is fairly split uh, between uh, Catholicism and Reformism. While Brandenburg is very Protestant, Austria is uh, quite Catholic. Interesting uh, map modes. Gives a, at least this one gives a very good overview. Quickly, public order, very high. No, no certain special color. Uh, nationalities: French, Swiss, German. Again, I wish there was more more color on on the map. Um, trade. Okay. These are ports, I would assume. But these things mean... Okay. Population. 6kk. What does that mean? 6 million? <laughs> 6,000 thousand? Or something? Uh, densely populated, sparsely populated. Yeah, sure. And then total population growth, migration, birth rate. Okay, so so, this, so these are sub subcategories of each one. Um, political map, opponents lodges, opponents agents, opponents country name. Okay, so this turns them off. Opponents agents. I guess we'll turn them on then. Map. Okay, interesting. You know what? I think uh, that will be it for now. Uh, thank you so much f for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, this journey with me. Uh, we're far from done here, I, I assume. Uh, there's quite a lot of talking and reading uh, made, but um, hopefully I didn't do too too bad. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>